Hey everyone, it's me Nita and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be prepping for a market that I have tomorrow. Um, we've been prepping, me and my husband, we've been prepping all week for this upcoming market and I'm just going to be doing a, like, a last minute finalizing a few more items. So what I'm going to be working on tonight is a bunch of um, tote bags. I bought like a big bundle of tote bags for about like 20 25 dollars off amazon so i'm going to be using htv today possibly some dtf prints um, on these tote bags i have a few tumblers that i also want to make for this market and then a few scrunchies i'm not going to be taking any well i am going to take the bummies that i currently have and the bell bottoms that i currently have um, but besides that, I'm not going to be prepping or sewing any bell bottoms or bummies to take with me just because this market is a margarita and taco market. So people are going to be there for margaritas and eating tacos. So I don't think they're going to be really wanting to shop for their kids. So a lot of the stuff that I'm taking to this market is geared mostly for adults. So we already prepped a bunch of hats. I already have a ton of scrunchies prepped. I already have a ton of tumblers prepped. Um, I have a few coffee mugs that I have prepped. Um, so we have a lot of stuff to take with us tomorrow. I am kind of worried because this market, you're not able to like unload your car right next to your stall a lot of all the other markets that I have done we've been able to literally just unload our stuff from our car right where our booth is going to be um, but with this market we're supposedly not going to be able to do that so we're gonna to have to park our car and carry all the stuff so I'm a little worried they did suggest taking a wagon with you and unfortunately we don't have a wagon to put all the stuff in that's something that we definitely need to invest in but so far doing markets we just haven't seen a big enough profit for us to invest any more money on getting any like materials and stuff for doing craft fairs so i'm thinking also too after this craft fair it'll probably be our last one until like august or september um, once september starts to roll around um I'm gonna go full force with Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas stuff, so I won't start doing markets until then. So I'll have a little break during the summer just to focus on get prepping for this holiday season. And by the way, I do apologize if you hear some weird noises. My husband is giving my two toddlers a bath right now, so they're just, they're being super loud. But anyways, I'm hoping we do good at this market. Um, it's been so, so dead on Etsy, and I would spend a ton of money every day on just um, doing ads. In the past, the ads have worked very well for me, um, but for some reason this month, people are clicking on my ads, looking at my stuff, harding my stuff, saving my stuff, but they're just not purchasing. It's, again, sorry for all the word noise. I have my dogs too, my two puppies in the background, so they're making some noises too. But uh, Etsy has been dead and um, I had to lower my ads because my ads, ads were super high but I wasn't, I wasn't, I literally wasn't getting any sales um, from my ads and I was spending all of my ad money. I had my ads set to $50 a day um, and I was spending that money. People were clicking on this, on my items, but no one was buying. So um, as of right now, it's Friday, we get paid on from Etsy on Mondays, but currently right now I owe Etsy $200, which is infuriating. See, I was making, you know, good money. I was also, I was almost getting close to making the same amount of money as I was as a teacher, um, which felt pretty nice because as of right now, I'm a stay-at-home mom. I'm staying home to care for my two kids. So I wanted to do Etsy to help earn a little bit of money, but if I'm having to pay Etsy $200, that's a little scary. And if Etsy's not bringing any money and I'm owing Etsy money, that's just, it's not a good thing. So I hope we do good at this market. They emailed us today telling us like the instructions and stuff for this market. They said there's gonna be about five to 6,000 people there. Um, so that's a ton of traffic. Again, though, they're there for tacos and margaritas, so I'm not sure, like, 
how interested they're gonna be in purchasing handmade stuff. I'm just hoping and praying that we do really good at this market and hopefully I get some sales this weekend too because I really don't wanna have to pay Etsy $200 because that's just outrageous. I did lower my ads down to $10 a day um, and I still have gone days without orders. Um, today, luckily, I ended up getting, um, so someone purchased three yards of fabric from me, um, which I just restocked too and I have a bunch of new prints too. So if you're in need of some bulk fabric, which is perfect for bell bottoms, bummies, head bows, um, definitely go check out my Etsy and um, I have all my new prints and I restock all my old prints as well. And then someone ordered a small piece of fabric for like bows and then someone just ordered a birthday shirt. Um, so I got three orders today. I'm running $10 a day on ads and I took a lot of my listings to that I was promoting, I took a lot of those listings down, or not the listings down, but I turned off ads for those listings. So I'm just focused on just a few of my items that sell in my that I sell in my shop and running ads on those, hoping to get traffic and like hopefully they'll see if they like that item or maybe when they click on it, they'll see some other items that I offer that are similar to the item and they might, might purchase that instead. So I'm kind of fiddling around with ads. I lowered it down to $10 a day. I'm only doing a few of my listings with ads, so hopefully things will start to pick up. I know that June is in like July, our slow months, so it's really just frustrating. Um, but I'm hoping, market I do good at. I'm not gonna like be disappointed if I don't do good just because I, I rarely, rarely ever do like amazing at markets. Um, the most I've ever made out of market was $400 and that was pretty, I was pretty stoked about that. So the booth fee was a hundred, so I need to make at least a hundred dollars tomorrow. Just hopefully we do good tomorrow, but I'm going to go ahead and show you what we already have prepped, um, or what we prepped this week. Um, and then I'm going to show you what I'm going to work on tonight and then Tomorrow, um, I'll show you how the booth is all set up and everything and how everything turns out. And then also give a recap too on how much I made. Definitely stick around for this video because I'm gonna give a recap and show you how my booth looks and everything. So but let's just go ahead and let's get to work. So far this week, we have been going hard on adding a bunch of hats to our collection. So I started doing the Melty Face hats with the yellow face. Before I was just doing like just a blank background. Um, so we added a bunch of these new happy face hats. I'm hoping these tie-dye ones sell really good. I just feel like these are so cool looking. I'm not really into wearing hats just because like I just don't like the way hats feel on my head. But I kind of I'm kind of tempted to rock one of these tomorrow. To kind of do like promoting and it's gonna be over 100 degrees tomorrow so I need whatever I can to help keep me cool so so yeah so these are all the new hats we added these to my Etsy shop so hopefully some orders for these start to come in um, so far I think I've sold like three hats not a ton um, but I'm hoping because I'm adding more and more hats to my Etsy shop, um, more orders will start to come in. We do have a bunch of beanies because we're gonna be adding beanies too to my Etsy shop. So so we just have been busy all week with embroidery. Um, we haven't set up our other embroidery machine which is gonna be going over here. We have another one of these machines out in our garage. We haven't even used it yet just because we have to get it moved inside and these things are heavy and they take about three to four guys to get, you know, the machine onto the stand. Once you get onto the stand, you can kind of move it wherever you want. It's just lifting it up onto the stand is kind of challenging. So we're still looking for help to get our other machine moved in, but I'm hoping when fourth quarter starts to come around and the holidays start to come around, we'll be able to run both of our machines all day long. You know, that's what I'm hoping because like we have been just listing, listing, and listing a ton of new items um, and we just we have a ton of stuff that we're just a ton of plans that we plan on adding um, to my shop um, I definitely still need to work on my website because I don't have any of this stuff on my website and my website is just kind of sitting there not getting any traffic not getting anything so that's something else once I get a bunch of new listings up um, I'm going to 
transfer all those listings over to my Shopify as well. And I'm at the point too where I'm like, I don't want to spend any more money on ads for Etsy and just really focus on my website and maybe run ads for my website. Unfortunately, I cannot run ads on Instagram um, or Facebook. Long story, if you guys want to hear a story on that, let me know. Some of you guys already know why I can't run ads on Facebook and Instagram, but it kind of hurts, kind of hurts me on growing my business through those two platforms because I'm not able to run ads. But I definitely need to post more on those two platforms, which I'm gonna start scheduling out posts, um, like do three posts a day and have those scheduled out. So when I do, so I can like sit there and like post a week's worth of content in one day rather than try and remember okay it's three o'clock I need to do my next post on Instagram like I don't want to have to worry about that kind of stuff I'd rather just spend two hours and get a bunch of content done and ready for the week and just not have to stress about it and hopefully that will help grow my Instagram or my Facebook maybe that could help me grow my business that way and get more traffic to my website and just forget about Etsy I'm just at that point now where it's like not worth it anymore it's and I think I don't know if it's just the market is really bad right now and that's causing my shop to be really slow or I'm it could also be too my click-through rate is like at one percent I want to say and click-through rate is when like someone like clicks on an item from your shop and goes and looks at your shop do they purchase something from your shop or do they just look and then that's it because I'm on YouTube and I have a ton of people who, you know, go to my Etsy for inspiration, they don't buy anything, which messes up my click-through rate. So I don't know if that has, if that's affecting my sales or if it's just the market or if it's a combination, I don't know. I'm just at the point now where it's like, I think I'm at a point in my business where I just need to focus on my website and just really branding myself and just having my brand be it standalone brand where I don't have to like use Etsy anymore as like a platform. Back to what we're gonna be working on. I'm getting sidetracked and focusing and let me show you the scrunchies that I want to make tonight and then also I want to show you guys too the new fabric I got. Um, okay so I got a ton of fabric shipped in. I had I want to say seven or eight boxes. Seven or eight boxes were delivered. Um, so and these are pretty big but pretty big boxes so I restocked on my sprinkle fabric like I have so much like so much of it and then I restocked on my cow prints I also have a ridiculous amount of this mermaid print as well um, I'm really really excited about this print I'm gonna make something for myself with this like a clothing item for myself but I also bought it for um, to make boy shorts to go along with like my um, truckia monster shirts uh, birthday shirts that I offer and then I have a bunch of other like race car monster truck all that kind of like racing themed um, I'm gonna make a bunch of matching outfits for that and then I'm gonna make girl bell bottoms and bummies and bows to go with this as well just because I just feel like this is just a cute standalone print it doesn't need to be used for like a birthday print at all it's just like you could wear this as like a cute cute outfit so so I have this listed I also got this really cute daisy print because this of course it's retro it's just it would be perfect for bell bottoms perfect for bummies bows all that stuff so I have this new print as well and then the baseball print, I just listed this one too. I already made some bummies in this fabric. I still need to make a ton of bows and bell bottoms too and get this listed. And then I also have this strawberry print. I have so many, so many cute t-shirt designs to go with this for like birthday outfits. So I have a ton of that fabric as well. Um, and I've been rolling the fabric onto bolts. So I have four of these boxes left to do and it's just, it's been killing my back rolling all the fabric, but my fabric room is looking really nice. Um, it's coming together. So it looks like a little mini Joann's in my, my fabric room, but I can't wait to get this on bolts um, and just get this out of the way. I pulled a bunch of fabrics 
that I wanted to make scrunchies with. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get through this whole stack. Um, so I have this like rib knit. This one always sells well at my markets. I always sell out of this print. Um, same for this mermaid print. So I definitely need to make just like a few scrunchies. And I don't think I'm going to make any chunky scrunchies today. Uh, just because those haven't been selling on markets. They just have been buying the regular size um, scrunchies. So I'm just going to focus on making a few of the regular size scrunchies um, for customers because that's just, that's what's been selling. Um, and then I have these two prints that I want to make. Um, I want to get this print listed on my Etsy um, for back to school. So I'm going to make some scrunchies out of that one. And because I'm going to a taco margarita event, of course, of course, I have to bring taco scrunchies. So I'm going to make some of that. I think pizza too. I have some 4th of July prints. Definitely need to make a few of those. Um, I've been needing to do more animal print. This rainbow one sold really well last time. This holographic mermaid one sold too. I have this one that I haven't made scrunchies out of yet, but I think I'm gonna wait. Uh, no, I'm going to a taco event. I need to have some sugar schools. Um, and then I was going to do this one too just because it's Pride Month. Um, this spider one. I need to get all my Halloween stuff up so I pulled a, a couple Halloween ones but I don't think I'm going to make that tonight. Um, I have another ribbed knit. Some more mermaid. I have this sad one. Um, some skating ones I want to make. And then this dog one. And then this one too. So. That's the pile I want to get through. I also want to make a few scrunchies out of these new prints. I think those will be cute. So I won't have time to go through any of these, even though I feel like these velvet ones. Uh, okay, I gotta make one. I think that's good. I think I'm only gonna do like two of each print, um, except for the taco one. I think I'm gonna make a bunch. Because I'm thinking, and I don't know if this is a good idea or not, let me know down in the comments. I'm thinking, um, because I bought this fabric in bulk, so I got it really cheap, um, and I have a ton of it. I'm thinking about doing a bunch of scrunchies in this print and offering these ones at a discount rate just to kind of have customers have an option for like, a mem like something to remember the event by. So I think this could be a good like souvenir almost, I guess. So I'm thinking about doing these ones at a discount rate so it kind of gets customers to my booth and excited to purchase from my booth maybe. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. But so I have those and then I have this huge stack of just totes um, that I purchased off Amazon. They're just a basic canvas tote. Um, DTF prints will work well on this. HDV will also work well on these. So um, I'll hopefully I'll be able to have enough time to do a mixture of both. But these come out to like $2 um, per tote. So HTV or DTF, about a dollar for the transfer, $1.50 for the transfer, and or $1.50 for the HTV. So I'm thinking of offering these at like $10. I don't know how much totes usually go for, but I'm thinking $10. Just because I got these for so cheap and I'm just trying to like sell as many as I can. So I'm, I'm gonna be using my sewing machine tonight and I'm going to be using my um, heat press, my tumbler press from Heat Press Nation. I have this linked um, below and then I'm going to be using my Cricut Maker and then I also have my other Cricut. So, so, so I'm going to have both Cricuts running. A couple days ago though I was running both machines, both Cricuts, um, because I had a big t-shirt order for a small business. Um, so I was using both crickets at the same time and it was so cool um, being able to just run both of them at the same time and I was able to get so many shirts done. Um, the weeding sucked but luckily the design was super easy to weed so I was able to weed and just cut through all the designs super quickly. Uh, so I feel like this vlog is going to be super chatty so I do apologize. Um, so what I'm thinking I'm going to go do right now is go ahead and send what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to get some of the designs going on my crickets. Um, I have a couple like taco 
designs that I'm thinking of putting on some of the tote bags. Um, hi, Mama. Hi, baby. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and go mess around with my computer, and then we'll, then we'll start cutting fabric and cutting vinyl. Um, um, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna start cutting some vinyl, and then I'll cut some fabric, sew some scrunchies, and make these totes. And I also have a few tumblers too, so I need to print those out as well. Okay guys, so I was able to get two of these done, two of these done, one of these, and then one of those. I'm going to make two more different designs because I'm really tempted just to test out this printed vinyl that I got from my craft source. I've been storing it down here and um, I don't really have any projects planned for this. so. I'm going to go ahead and just test it out and see how I like it. If I like it, I can always order more from my craft source. Um, but I'm going to do two designs really quick. They should be very simple and quick. Um, and then, guys, I really don't think 
I'm gonna have time to do too many scrunchies, I'm thinking, because I'm running out of time. It's already late. I think I'm just gonna make a ton of taco ones, and then maybe this print, just because I wanna make one for myself. Um, and then this rest of this fabric will have to wait. We'll see, maybe I'll have enough time tonight to get it done, but it's already, but it's already 104 in the morning, so I don't want to stay up too too much later. So yeah, so I think I'm just gonna make two more tote bags Maybe make a few more scrunchies Like I said, I don't want to stay up too late just because um, we need to be there at 9 a.m. And we have to drop the kids off before We go so I'm gonna have to be up early because we got to pack the car <sighs> We're gonna have to be strategic too on how we package everything because um, like I said in the beginning of the video, we're not going to be able to like pull up and unload everything. We're going to have to like park and walk everything up. So I'm hoping the walk isn't too, too bad. But I definitely want to try and package up everything um, so there's as like as little containers as possible. Because um, usually I'll have like three, four totes or three bins. Three, four bins, uh, three tables, our canopy, and then any like random little baskets too. So I'm worried about tomorrow, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually really worried about carrying everything. And it's gonna be really hot tomorrow, so I'm probably gonna be drenched in like sweat. So we'll see how it goes. But I'm gonna go ahead and make these, I'm gonna go, go ahead and make two more designs um, because one of them is like a 4th of July themed one, and I honestly, 4th of July is like a week and a half away, so I'm not even like going to try and enlist anything else for 4th of July. So here is this one. I seriously love how it turned out. And then here is this one. So cute. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started on making some scrunchies.
Okay guys, so here are all the scrunchies I was able to get done. I feel like for how long it took me to do, I did not make as many as I thought I was going to make. But um, I really love how this checkered one came out. So I'm definitely going to be listing the checkered one to my Etsy shop. I should have the taco ones already listed. I need to list more animal print ones. I still haven't listed this one. Um, definitely I'll be listing the baseball one and this daisy one. So that's going to be it for the market prep. Um, I do have to wake up early because I want to get there around 9-ish. Um, they do open up at 11. We need to have everything set up by 10. So I'm thinking maybe we even might need to get there a little bit earlier than 9. Just so we could start setting up. Because I have a feeling that we're going to have to do multiple trips back and forth to our car. So I just want to get there as early as possible too because of how hot it is. So kind of help beat the heat. Um, I'm not going to look for, I'm not looking forward to breaking everything down and carrying it back to the car because it is going to be so, so incredibly hot. Um, um, and we still have to drop the kids off before we go. So um, I don't know if we're going to load the car and then drop the kids off or drop the kids off first and then load the car. I haven't quite decided yet what our game plan is. We don't. I don't have anything else that I need to work on. I already have so much prepped, um, and I'm gonna say a prayer tonight that we do good tomorrow. I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, I will try my best to check in with you guys when I can. I might even go live tomorrow. I don't even. I'm not sure yet what the game plan is. It just really depends on how I feel. Um, it is late right now, but I'm not like tired at all. I'm just, I don't know. I'm really anxious for tomorrow. So I just hope I, I just hope I do good. See you guys in the morning. Okay guys, so it's the next morning. Um, I condensed everything down. So I got everything to be a little bit more compact. I'm leaving two of my scrunchie stands at home. I'm leaving one of the tables at home. So we're just gonna do two tables and two clothing racks along with our canopy. So I'm hoping that should be enough. For this market, um, it's already super hot outside. I'm already super sweaty. Um, also, I was not able to, I wasn't able to fall asleep last night. So I probably only got like 30 minutes, maybe 45 minutes of sleep. Um, I'm exhausted. So I'm definitely for sure gonna be taking a nap when I get home after this market. Um, but have my water bottle's filled. Eric's packing up the car. Um, I'll see you guys when I get there. Okay guys, so it is the next day. I just woke up. Um, not gonna lie, that market, even though it was so much fun, it kicked my butt. It was over 100 degrees um, pretty much all day. 
yesterday, I think it was like 103, 104. Um, thank God we had, you know, like a canopy to help protect us from the sun. But there's no protecting yourself from that heat. I literally was drenched in sweat. Sweat was sweat was everywhere basically um, sadly um, someone in a booth next to us she ended up start like throwing up and the paramedics had to come and get her she probably just got overheated um, and then one of the security guards too had to be um, gurneyed out because of the heat he got heat exhaustion so the heat was pretty rough yesterday but we were able to manage we had a ton of water we did eat some food. We tried our best not to spend any money while we were at this market just because we want to come home with a profit and not just, you know, not have any money when we come back from a market. But we ended up buying some food. We had to try some of the tacos. We had to try, of course, a margarita. Um, they had some chamoy there, which I've been dying to try out. Um, it was very good. And then, um, we just drank a ton, a ton of water. I probably drank like a gallon of water just being there. Um, and then when I got home, I drank a ton too. Um, there were a ton of people. There was definitely between five to 6,000 people there. So there was a ton of foot traffic. Um, so with that being said, there were a ton of people there. It was extremely hot there. And we ended up selling $597 worth of stuff, which is freaking amazing. By far, that, that market was our very best market we've ever done. Um, it's insane how good we did. Um, so let's talk about what sold. So obviously, it was over 100 degrees there. Um, and it's still 103 degrees today, so I'm going to be spending a lot of my time inside. But because it was so hot like I said people were trying to purchase hats and hair ties or scrunchies I mean to help protect themselves from the heat so um, we had so many people literally just stop by our booth just to look at the hats and grab a hat and go so a lot of the customers they didn't even like look and check everything out around our booth they just noticed we had some cute hats and they're like, oh, I need a hat, I forgot a hat. They literally just came by, looked through the hats and just gave me, gave me the money and walked away. They didn't even like try and like talk to us or anything, they just wanted their hat and just wanted to be on their way. Um, also too, something else that really surprised me that sold very well were the tote bags. Um, I, sh I regret not making more, it just sucks that I ran out of black HTV and wasn't able to make more because I sold out of like all my totes within like the first hour because people were walking around, you know, drinking their margaritas so their hands were full, they had their tacos, but they're also walking around and looking at booths and wanting to purchase stuff. So they had their hands full, so what do they need when they, hand their, when they have their hand, hands full? They need a bag. So um, I made sure to make a lot of taco themed um, bags just to kind of give them an option for like a souvenir from you know this event and all of, all of my bags sold within an hour um, I had people coming back to my or I had people coming to my booth saying hey I heard you were the lady selling all the tote bags do you have any more of the tacos before Vato's bags and I just, I regret just not having enough HTV because I knew that bag was gonna sell well and I wish I had enough time last night too to do DTF prints because I found a bunch of cute designs uh, that are full color that say uh, tacos before Vatos and I really just, I wanted to make those but I didn't want uh, to have Eric get the DTF printer up and going because that takes a while to get it up and running before you can actually start doing prints and it was already so late so I didn't want to um, have Eric do all that so I only was able to use HTV and those bags sold very quickly um, I sold them for $10 a piece that is kind of low but I kind of priced everything there affordably just so I can try and move as much as I could and um, I probably could have sold those bags for $15 and they probably still would have sold. Um, the hats I sold for $15 because the hats I get for like $3 and I can stitch out those hats in like three minutes. So the stitch out on those hats are so quick. So I can um, make like 15 to 20 hats in an hour. It's I can make a ton. So I sold the hats for around $15 just because I can make a ton of those in one sitting. 
I'm hoping that my hats still continue to pick up, especially now because I have a second multi-needle. Mama, hi! Hi. Because now I have a second um, multi-needle embroidery machine, so I literally could have two machines going and just pumping out a ton of hats. And hats, you just can make a huge profit because they're so quick and they're cheap, too. Um, so I'm hoping that, I'm hoping that eventually um, I could start selling more hats and push those a lot more. Um, I also wanted to um, sell taco hats at this event. And again, we just ran out of time because it just takes so much time to make all this stuff. Um, so I regret, regret not having any taco hats because I want to do just like a little tiny, small, dainty taco on a hat. And I thought that would have sold really well at the market. And it probably would have sold really well at the market because people love the hats. Um, but they love the happy face hats, like the yellow ones. Those were probably the most popular out of the other two styles that I had. Um, I did sell a firefighter hat and a lightning bolt hat. I just only had one of those. I'm sure if I had more of those, I probably would have sold more. Um, so yeah, so definitely for my next market, um, I'm going to look for festivals. I think that's where I'm at now. I'm done with flea markets. I'm done with really small craft fairs. If I'm going to anything, I'm going to be going to these big festivals or these big events where the booths cost like a hundred to hundred and fifty dollars. So I did pay a hundred dollars for this booth. So I'm so sorry guys. My toddlers are in the other room and they're playing with their new Sonic toys that I bought them at the craft at this festival so they're having fun right now so I do apologize um so definitely I'm sticking to festivals and bigger markets where the booth fees are a little bit bit more pricey um and then for what I'm gonna just really focus on on bringing to these markets um I'm just really gonna focus on if it's like an event so if it's like another taco festival or an asparagus festival, strawberry festival, I'm gonna make sure that I make things geared to those type of people that are gonna be there and still offer the things that I like to offer, like the scrunchies and all that. I'm gonna make sure that when I make tote bags, I'm gonna make a few of the tote bags that are geared for that type of event. Like I did the taco bags. I'm definitely gonna do more bags like that on top of other different bags that I think everybody would love. Um, same things with hats. If I'm going to like a strawberry festival, which they do have here in Sacramento, um, I'm gonna make hats with little strawberries on them or make hats with little tacos on them. Just something for customers to be able to take home with them and have something to help remember that event for them. And I, I, the scrunchies sold well like usual. You know, I don't sell like a ton amount of scrunchies, but I always get a, cus a few customers here and there that just get scrunchies. Um, so, I am very pleased with this market. I learned a ton. I definitely now know what type of events to go to and what to look for. Um, for a while there, I was kind of like feeling bad about the stuff I was making. I felt like, okay, maybe the stuff I'm making just isn't popular. Maybe people just don't like this type of stuff or this type of stuff doesn't sell well at markets. And that yesterday's market really just showed me that the stuff that I'm selling will sell. I just need to get it in front of the right type of people. So um, just definitely when you are trying to look for craft fairs and markets, definitely try and think about the customers and something that they would like to purchase. Now, if I ever do any more farmers markets, um, I would just gear, probably just focus on making a ton of bags because people at farmers markets they need stuff for their produce so I'm just gonna just try and think whatever market I go to what type of customers are gonna be there and what type of things will they need while they're at that market or something that they could use while they're at that market so I'm just gonna try and keep that in mind whenever I plan out markets and stuff that I'm gonna take for my markets so I'm thinking for just any type of events that I go to um, I think I'm really just gonna dial down the type of things that I want to sell because I do have a quite a variety of things that I sell, but I think I really want to focus more on my branding for my scrunchies. So I have like a bunch of different scrunchies that I offer because I use a lot of my scrap fabrics, 
but I do kind of want to transition and having more themed scrunchies and having like more of like a collection of scrunchies and have them kind of all pair together rather than just having a bunch of random prints and a random fabrics and things like that. I kind of want to have more of a focus whenever I'm picking out fabrics for scrunchies and kind of brand myself more with my scrunchies. Um, I'm definitely going to continue making tumblers. I forgot to mention I sold three tumblers while I was there. I sold the taco thumber, tumbler within like an hour. Um, my concha tumbler, um, I got a lot of lookers at it, but nobody purchased it. And then I ended up selling um, one of my strawberry tumblers and then one of my checkered happy face tumblers I sold as well. So definitely I'm going to bring more tumblers a ton more hats. I'm thinking that my booth is just gonna be more of like a hat and scrunchy booth and just have little random items such as the tote bags um, and the tumblers as kind of like extra stuff to add to it. Um, I do plan on taking stickers next time so I'm gonna spend some time um, making some stickers. I have two crickets um, so I want to try and use all the machines that I have and all the supplies that I have. I'm gonna just continue to try and think of things that I can make and try and push and sell at a market. So I have a ton of supplies for um, stickers so I figure I could just make a ton of stickers with my crickets and I can have like a dollar option for customers so if they see something but if they notice a sticker maybe they'll be more inclined to just you know pay a dollar for a sticker or 50 cents depending on the sticker I don't know I haven't decided yet but definitely I want to be making some stickers to sell along too like at this last market, I totally could have made a bunch of different type of taco stickers, a bunch of margarita stickers, like just things like that. Um, I totally could have t made and sold at these type of markets. So, um, but yeah, I had a lot of fun at this festival. I am going to spend some time this week trying to scope out some events that will be going on. I'm going to be looking for events, though, that are past August just because of the heat here in Sacramento. It gets too hot to be sitting out under a tent um, for four to six hours it's just it's brutal so if you know if I do find a market for you know July maybe if it's indoors I probably will do it I've been scoping out some markets or festivals or events um, such as like a, they have a sack anime coming um, in October October 1st and 2nd which my birthday is on October 2nd so it'd be kind of cool to uh, go there and do a booth and I've always wanted to do cosplay so maybe I could try dress up I don't know I just always wanted to try out cosplay so I'm gonna be looking for events like that I think I just the stuff I make would sell a lot better at events geared towards towards that but that's gonna be it for this video I really hope you guys enjoy this market video I will keep you updated on any future markets that I have planned um, but I am gonna take like probably this next month off before I go to any more markets just because this last market it really kicks my butt at least two will give me a whole month to really just make a bunch of stuff to be able to list on my Etsy, list onto my website, which I desperately need to give some attention to, and just kind of prep for my next market. So when I do go to my next market, I could just have a full, full booth um, because I think just having a bunch of stuff displayed out all nicely kind of helps attract people to your booth. So I definitely want to spend this next month just kind of focusing on how I can make my booth look better and just make sure I have a ton of stuff. So definitely you'll see some more market prep videos, but I just won't have any markets until probably like August or September. I'm really excited though for my next one. I can't wait, but I have a feeling that I, fi I finally figured it out, I think guys. So, but make sure to give this video a like. Comments down below. Um, if you've been successful at any markets or if you've been going to markets, how they've been going, what things have been selling for you. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one, which will probably be a tutorial or a work with me. I don't know. I haven't decided. I have a bunch of orders that I have to work on tonight and I have a tutorial that I want to show you guys. So I will definitely share that with you guys. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.